Just got this in. This is the Nano QX2 FPV version by Horizon Hobby. It's the new or the successor to the original Nano QX model. Sporting a larger battery, a uh, slightly larger body overall, and a FPV camera with a transmitter at 25 milliwatts. Hopefully going to have a lot better range on this than the original Nano QX FPV. And that's what I'm putting to the test today. I've got my Black Pearl 32 channel diversity receiver out with the helical antenna and the, uh, the helical antenna and the omnidirectional antenna. I'm going to fly out about as far as I can and see how far I can go. I got the Fat Shark goggles down here. I'm going to be recording the video. So let's just get that started. All right, we got recording. So put the Daniel QX there on the ground. I'm going to be flying using the monitor. Got a DX7 transmitter and ready to take off. Just a quick close range view. All right, here goes nothing. Just flying along the path. Pretty clear so far. It seems to be using the helical antenna a lot more than it does the uh, omnidirectional. But that's usually to be expected in these diversity setups. I find it's always using the helical a lot more. I've gone pretty far down the path and I'm starting to get some fuzz. But I'm alright now. Starting to get dangerously far away now. Uh, 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 all right, you know, I'm going to turn around. That might just be about as far as we could go, but that's a pretty good demonstration. I mean, look how far I am along the path there from this little guy. And now I'm coming back pretty, pretty rapid speed. Full speed come back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Going on a tree now. Let's do a little flying over here. Go behind some trees. Round trees. Yep. It's just about what you just actually just about what I'd expect or better. I mean, whoa, this is not gonna be an FPV racer, but for messing around in the house or even just having some time outside. It works really well. And again, we're going to do another zip down the path. Hopefully I don't crash. I do highly recommend getting a DVR if you're going to fly this outside and record your flights. Because I've had a couple bad experiences where I have fallen in the weeds or in the grass. And... This thing is black, and it's really hard to find, so, yeah, I was not too happy about that, in all honesty. Could have, they could have picked a better color, it could have been orange, that would have been nice instead of black, but, uh, it is what it is. I'm just zipping back and forth, today's a really hot day outside, the sun's blazing. The camera looks pretty decent, even though the sunlight's, uh... Pretty hefty. Just an overall view of what I'm seeing with my GoPro. Just so you can get an idea of this little setup. It's very simple. Just the black pro monitor and those antennas. 
and you're good to go. Well, this is the so we we lost some sunlight, so now you can kind of see what it looks like. What the camera looks like when you have shade. Again, we're just going up and down a path. Got about one minute left on my battery, so I'm probably gonna come back. Yeah, I'm coming back. I got one minute left. I don't feel like losing it out there. There it is. Alright. So that's pretty good. Really, really great. I love this. It's, it's you know, it's not an FPV racer. It's not supposed to be. But again, for even outdoor flight, it works. It works pretty well. And you can see I've got pretty decent range. I flew all the way down there, around the bend, past that little tree there. And... With this setup, uh, it, it, it does very well. So that's about it. That concludes the test. Um, now QX2 FPV, highly recommended. Uh, if you do end up picking this thing up, I would definitely recommend you get one of these uh, multi or power charge boards because then you can charge multiple batteries at once off your charger. Really convenient. And I can go, you know, one one charge session, that's 15 minutes, because each battery is about, you know, you get about five minutes battery time. All right, so that's it. Now QX FPV. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching, guys.